baby, it's a baby a cult. It's a theme song. What's up, everybody? I'm Kelsey, and I'm single, so I thought it would be funny if I tried the occult baby challenge. It's a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have one matriarch, and they are supposed to have a baby with every occult sim. I'm using a bit of the 100 baby challenge and the occult baby challenge, so if you're interested in the rules of either of those challenges, the link will be below. So we're just coming up upon our first batch of kids being too big for the household, which means that it is going to be time to say goodbye to our beloved older kids. If I seem a little bit low energy today, if you follow me on Instagram, you might know that I was sick for a week. It wasn't COVID, but it was a pretty rough cold. So I'm finally feeling better. Without further ado, let's hop in. We're back with the Impeach Ishmael household. Greg, how are you doing, sweet angel? You feeling a little angry? Okay, wow. Why don't we calm down? Can we like go for a feral run? That sounds great. This does not look like a run, but it does look feral. You okay, man? He doesn't seem that okay. Catherine, meanwhile, is very tense, but she's not angry. So I think we can age her up. So go blow out your candles, Catherine. Okay, here we go, Catherine. Oh, look at sweet Felix over here cheering on his older sister as she ages into adulthood. Hooray! Oh, she's a kleptomaniac. You know what? That just tracks. And she has good manners and she's responsible. What a good girl. Okay, she's erratic, overachiever, kleptomaniac. I feel like that lends itself to a life of crime, but I don't want to be so obvious with it. So maybe she'll be into... She has been cooking a lot. It would be kind of cute if she wants to be a master chef one day. She can always change it in the future. And she graduated with honors. Congratulations, oh. Catherine. Now she's happy. Okay, good. Greg Jr. Oh man, he's really out here doing his very best to calm down about his feral rage right now. Oh, Catherine just became good friends with Lilith. Some of you are saying that Catherine and Lilith might have like a bad relationship. Actually, they, I think, of all of the kids have the best relationship between Catherine and Lilith. I feel like Catherine has beef with most of the other kids, but for some reason her and Lilith get along very well. Oh, it looks like Lilith is asking Catherine about a missing toy. She says, I was thinking about one of my favorite toys and can't find it. I'm starting to miss it and to feel sad. And Catherine says, keep looking for it, girl. You got this. Oh my gosh. Are you okay, buddy? Maybe take a cold shower, calm down. He's just not feeling too great and no amount of calming down is really helping, unfortunately. I'm gonna send him to bed and then if he in the morning wants to break a bunch of things, you know, we can repair them. It's okay. School is stupid. I should just be able to start working or living life. Can I never go to school again? Felix, you're gonna be out of school so fast, Felix. Don't even worry about it. How sweet of Catherine to say school teaches important things. That doesn't sound like Catherine to me at all. Look at Catherine just being such a good sister. Ooh, but we are out of food. Perfect timing for our sweet baby angel to cook some things. Vegetable dumplings, do that. Catherine's now level two of parenting. What? Catherine, and she's feeling very happy. Jack is very hungry. He's waking up soon. Perfect timing, Catherine. We love this. Listen to some hip hop. Sounds like a good vibe. There you go, sweetie. Perfect. How's Felix doing? He's very sad. Hurt by someone nearby. I think it was probably Catherine. Catherine has finished her food though. Good job, Catherine. You want to dance maybe? There she goes. And Jack is going to go get some of the food. Catherine's learning some dance moves. She wants to swipe an item and flirt with herself. Oh, I love that she wants to flirt with herself. Do we flirt with ourselves in the mirror? Yes. Flirt with yourself, Catherine. She's already dancing level two. Good job, queen. Jack is feeling pretty good. It's 1.30. So as usual, my kids have terrible sleep schedules. All right, sweetheart. I think you need to go to sleep, please. Yes, girl. Flirt with yourself. We love that for you. We're gonna use the toilet and then we're gonna take her to bed. Oh God, oh God. We've got a very angry Greg Jr. I'm gonna lock you in the bathroom because I love it when he breaks all the stuff because then he has to fix it. Yeah, break it, buddy. Feeling a little better. Yeah, he really needed that. We're gonna unlock the door now. And Greg, I have have a job for you. It's called repairing all the things you broke so we can get to handiness level five. Ooh, Lilith is uncomfy. Why don't you just quickly take a shower and use the toilet? Ooh, he likes handiness. Yes, that is perfect. Everyone's starting to wake up. It's 7 a.m. It's a Thursday. So Felix and Lilith do have to go to class today and he needs to get a skill up to level three. And he has no level three skills. Do you have any skills? He has no skills. Oh, Felix, he likes planting. 
thing. I mean, but that's kind of Patchy's thing over here. But you could like weed everything and harvest. Oh, we do need to go at least one day with Felix to high school. I'm gonna send him alone because I kind of want Lilith to be in high school with him. All right, honey, you gotta go to school too. Both of you study hard. Catherine's just doing whatever she needs to do. Greg Jr. is going out to work out. King, that is some king energy. There we go. Yes, okay, we're level four. Excellent. How is our Jack doing? Sweet Jack is, you know, doing decently. He needs to kind of work up on potty here. Okay, he's gonna chat, I think with like a neighbor or somebody. Someone's coming up here. Yasmin, gonna chat him up. Oh my God, what? Yasmin has a wife. What is happening with you, Greg Jr.? You didn't even know that, Sim. I didn't even know Sims could just kiss like that. Okay, well, Jack reached communication level three. Good job, Jack. You need potty. So, Chelsea, can you give Jack some potty training here? Catherine taking a nice little bath. How's Jack going? Ooh, he's almost a level two. Good job, Jack. Oh, God. As usual, Patchy is the worst, but I will modify you in Kaz and double check that he can have children. Yeah, it says get others pregnant. I don't know what's going on with Patchy and why he couldn't get us pregnant, but we'll try again. Grades are up. Yes, Lilith is an A student. That means she's going to be a teen now. And Felix is chilling. Come here, Lilith. It's your birthday. This feels like it's going way too fast with these kids. All right, so she's a vegetarian, a perfectionist, and maybe like a good vampire. Yeah, I think she'd want to be a good vampire. Okay, let's see her. Yes, it says now that Lilith in Peach is a teen, her vampire powers is fully manifested. She no longer has a hunger, energy, or bladder motive and must consume plasma to satisfy her thirst. Let's modify her in Kaz and see what she looks like. I know I shouldn't like adjust the genetic, but it's my game and I want to. Let's at least adjust her pupils. They are so pinpricked. I know maybe some of you would be annoyed that I adjusted her, but to be fair, I also adjusted Catherine's face, if you remember. See, look, Catherine definitely got her face adjusted too. So it's not like I favored one daughter over the other. I did it for both. I think that looks good. We got some vampire teeth, which I I love and we are gonna do a different type of hair. Okay, I love that. So let's get into her clothes. See, she's looking like a sweetheart, but she's also looking more like a vampire. Athletic, I think we need to make sure to do like a long sleeve and like as much pants as possible. There you go. Party time, purple long sleeve. Maybe this one, sure. And then accessories, we're gonna just do leggings again. And we'll do like black, little black boots or something. There you go, hot weather. I think this is kind of cute. I think that it kind of shows off the fact that she is uncomfortable in hot weather, which is funny to me. And then we will do her dark form. Oh, wow. I don't love the lip one. I think I like the eye ones better. And then we're going to do bloody lipstick kind of thing. Oof. I'm loving this. Okay. She looks fabulous. We love it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to go to high school for the first time with Lilith and her brother. Greg Jr., we're working on your skills. You're so close with handiness. Maybe upgrade self-cleaning over here too. Oh, Catherine's chatting amicably with sweet baby Jack, crushing it. Lilith, how are you feeling? She's so happy because it's her birthday. We need to adjust her bedroom a little bit. Let's give her like a cozy chair to sit in the room. Ooh, okay, yes. Love this little chair for her. Her, and then we'll put this maybe here. Okay, great. The little room makeover is perfect. Why don't you practice on the organ? Because that's really what you need. Chelsea's going to bed. Boom, level five of handiness. Okay, now he just needs to finish fitness and he's ready to go. <gasps> Chelsea's in labor, Chelsea's in labor. Okay, 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 okay. Have a baby at the hospital. We're gonna join her. Chelsea, you're here. Let us pray that this is a mermaid. We will not know until they are a toddler as usual. So it's anybody's guess. Another baby. This will be our sixth. Please be an occult baby. It's a girl. Oh, it's a girl. A lot of you guys recommended Ariel. Also, thanks to our Patreon members for recommending Ariel as well. Helps me narrow it down. So we're gonna go Ariel and Peachishme. There it is. Ariel and Peachishme. <gasps> I don't want to have twins. It's a boy. Amazing. We're going to go with Sebastian and Peter Shmay. All right, so Ariel and Sebastian, at least one of them has got to be a mermaid. And we just had twins. We've had three children with one father. I am not thrilled. Now our house is full. So we'd have to get out both Greg Jr. and Catherine to add Patchy to our household. So that brings our grand total from five to six seven babies so far. Let's efficiently care for both of our babies really fast. And then we need to age up Jack because 
I cannot deal with three toddlers at once. I refuse. So Jack, I think I need you to wander, okay? I need you to work on your skills a little bit. And Jack is going to bed. Great. Sweetheart, I love that you're so into parenting, Catherine, but I really need you to like stop. Oh, we can't super effective baby for two babies in a row. Awesome. Amazing. Yeah, I'm mad too, Chewy. Felix is dancing his little butt off, trying to get a skill up. He's an excellent B student, so he really just needs to get those skills done and he will be aging up as well. Ooh, level two of pipe organ. Oh, wait, should we get a coffin for the room? You're a big girl now. You get a big girl coffin. There we go. Look at her. She's got a perfect little bedroom, that sweetheart. We need to get some kids out of this house. Stat. Catherine technically can get out of the house, so I do feel like we might have her leave. Mm, Catherine. Goodbye, Catherine. It's okay, because Catherine, she's going to start the household for all of the kids to move in together, and I will be putting those on the gallery as we go. All right, Catherine, the first to leave. We think you're going to do amazing, sweetie. There she goes. Goodbye, Catherine. We love you. First baby first baby to leave the house. Oh, now she's tense. Oh, cause she's hungry. Oh, sweetie, I'm sorry. I'm gonna order you some, oh, flip. I can't order her stuff until she researches vampires enough. All right, let's research some vampire secrets. I forgot about that. This is not good. All right, we've leveled up our lore skill. So that's good. She's discovered some vampire secrets. Keep going, girly. Perfect, we've leveled up. We can now purchase the vampire volume one, purchase tomes. So we can buy the tome. Can we not buy the plasma packs yet? You know what? Maybe you could feed off of mom. We'll just like ask permission for like a little drink. I feel like mom will be fine with it. She is your mother. She just wants you to be happy. Sure, Lilith, I offer you my wrist. Oh, see what a good mom. Lilith's like, I'm hungry, mom. I don't really want to drink human blood. Do you mind? And she's like, of course, sweetie. It's okay. We'll figure out how to get you blood in a way that you prefer. Let's use her PowerPoints. Detect personality. That's fun. Bat form. Fun, but not necessary. Cast hallucination. Whoa. That is cool. Eternally welcome or occult student. Oh, yeah. We want this. We want her to reduce the amount of vampiric energy used to fuel her powers. Oh, it's Catherine. She's leaving. Bye, Catherine. Wait, wait, wait. Let's give Catherine a big hug as she leaves. Oh, see, they're like really close. I love that. She's like, here's like a key. Mom told me to give it to you. Come over whenever you want. We love you and we miss you. Bye, sis. Ariel is up and upset, but looks like mom already fixed it for the most part. Oh, yes. We discovered plasma packs. Okay. Boom, baby. And we leveled up up for level three. So we're good for our school. Maybe we'll do our homework today. And honestly, she'll probably be an A student after like two days of school. She wants to drink a plasmic fact. Don't drink deeply from five days in a row. Perfect. And reach vampire lore level four. That's great because we need to do that anyway. Once she finishes that, I think I'll put her to bed because I think she'll be ready for school. All right. Lilith is going up to her coffin. Jack has awoken and is hungry, but is taking care of his needs. Yes, Lilith. Her room fits her so well. She's like, okay, good night. Oh, she's such a cute little princess. I love it. Felix needs to take care of his needs, but we're getting him all sorted. It looks like we are out of food. Since you are awake, why don't you cook up a garden salad for the fam? Uh, Greg Jr., how you doing? He is also hungry, actually, but he's going to take a bubble bath. All right, Felix is making some, some food for everybody really quick. Okay, they start school in about an hour. Everyone's grabbing some food for the day. Felix, we're going to go with you to school today today. First day of school. First day of school. This will be routine that we do go to school at least once with all of the teens. Look at our two teens. Felix, who's a senior, and Lilith, who's a freshman. Oh God, Lilith, you poor sweet thing. We need to up your PowerPoint so you can walk in the sun. So let's get you inside. She wants to work out on an exercise machine. We can totally make that happen. Why don't you go work out? Does he want to work out too? He wants to work out on the treadmill too. All right, both of you go work out. Although I would much rather you guys become friends with people. We're working out on our little treadmill time together, getting our fitness level up. Gotta go to class, Lilith. Our hygiene's pretty rough though. Poor baby. Okay, maybe you can like wash your hands a couple times. Maybe brush your teeth really quick before you go to class. Attend exam. Oh, it's Friday. She didn't study for exams. Oof. I forgot that it was Friday. There she goes. She's taking it. He's taking it ish, but it is now lunchtime. Grand. All right. She's going to go take a shower. Good for you. And he doesn't really have any needs. So why don't you make some friends? Who's around that you could be friends with? Maybe Noah, maybe, maybe this guy. Let's, let's be friends with Alexander Goth. Friendly introduction. He's definitely aged up. Yay. 
gonna become friends. Introduce yourself. Lilith, are you finished with your shower? She's working on it. All right, be friendly with a faculty member. Why don't you be friendly to cafeteria worker here? Just try to distract her from the fact that you don't eat lunch. <laughs> like, oh, what? I, of course I eat lunch. And be friendly with a student. Why don't you be friendly with Lucas Munch? Oh, Lilith, just try to do her best out here, making friends. Finish up your reading. You gotta go to your next exam. Vampires have been observed turning into bats. That is true. Your dad does that. Okay, sweetie, you gotta go to your exam. How's Felix? He's already in his exam. Good for him. I feel like, you know, maybe not the best first day of school for Lilith, but she's trying. What are you doing in there, Felix? What are you doing? Go back to class. All right, exam report. Lilith did pretty well. Felix had a rough exam day. Yeah, that's probably because you didn't show up to your last exam. Oh, and it's love day. Oh, it doesn't seem like either of them have a crush at school. Maybe someone in the other class. I bet Felix would find Savannah cute. Introduce himself to Savannah. See if he might have a little love day adventure here. Lilith, why don't you chat with whoever you want to chat with? I want you guys to socialize. Joke about Marsha's. Cheer up. Tell a funny story. Oh, she didn't like his humor. Oh, he's trying. Oh, she is not into him at all. She is like, I don't like you, dude. All right, fair enough. What about Lilith? How's Lilith doing? She's chatting with Tommy. Tommy seems like chill with her. It is what it is, unfortunately. All right, kids, let's go home. Doesn't seem like either of you have a lot of friends at school yet, but it's okay. Is Patchy up? Oh, shoot, I forgot. Patchy, he didn't wake up. Shoot. Felix went inside. Felix, why don't you dance? Because you love to dance. <gasps> Will Lilith be his girlfriend? No. Ew, gross. Are you kidding? Patchy just asked Lilith to be his girlfriend. She is my teenage daughter. Oh, that's just wrong. Wait a second. This is a different Patchy than this Patchy. What if I switch over to that Patchy? If I play as him, can I get Chelsea pregnant? Let's find out. Try for a baby with Chelsea. Okay, so I guess I can do it as Patchy. Go try for a baby with Chelsea. Fabulous. And he's very embarrassed because he was rejected by Lilith, her teenage daughter. And he's He's evil. Yeah, no duh, Patchy. <gasps> Felix, don't be in the room when this happens. I don't want anyone to witness this. This is a new low. If I didn't already put so much work into having a baby with Patchy, I swear I would have never done this. Let's see if Chelsea's pregnant. Let's go take a pregnancy test really fast. Please, 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 please be eating for two. Yes, oh my God, thank goodness. Patchy Mick Adams, okay? You have come over to my house, destroyed my belongings. You flirted with my daughter. You are dead to me. Go away. Get out of my house, Patchy. Before you leave, I know I'm insulting you right now, but I do need a photo of you. Sorry. There it is. All right, now get out of my house. There's our Patchy photo. Absolutely disgusting. Oh, and look who's here. Catherine's here. Invite her inside. All right, go for a run, buddy, all right? There you go. Work on your fitness. Lilith is... Dude, where are you? Lilith, go home. I do not know why you're over here. Felix is is chill. He's gonna go to bed. I think he's gonna be an A student tomorrow, which means we can age him out of the house. We are feeling sick. Yeah, I'm feeling a little sick too because we have too many kids that are under the age of five. So we need to age these kids up that aren't the teens because the teens help us around the house. I'm stressed. Greg Jr. is eating a salad. Lilith is doing great. Oh my God, how cute are you? She's doing her homework and talking to her big sister. Why don't you finish it, please? And then now I want you to finish working on your tome here so you can get the next level. Okay, fabulous. She can now make plasma packs from fish or frogs. Perfect. She we only need one more level of vampire lore for her to be done. And we need her to also work on pipe organs. So why don't you work on pipe organ now? And we've got, who is it? Ariel is, is upset now. Poor Chelsea. Oh, this is so much work taking care of all my kids. Lilith is level three of pipe organ. Let's go, Lilith. Jack is pretty good on needs, actually. So let's wake him up and get him to work on some things. He's level two on a couple things, but he needs potty training. Let's get some potty help from Lilith. Okay, he's being potty trained. Boom, there it is, Jack. So we just need to level up thinking, imagination, and potty, and he's ready to go as a kid. Lilith is pretty much ready to go for school tomorrow. And she is rushing it in vampire lore and pipe organ. Greg Jr. needs a shower. There's so many kids. 
kids to take care of right now. Let's take Greg to the gym. I know everyone else has stuff to do, but let's travel with Greg. Harbor Quarter Gym. I don't know if I've really been to that gym. All we need from you, buddy, is to work out. I want you to turn that frown upside down. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna sweat off that sadness, buddy. Okay, you're so close. Here we go. Hustle. I want to see the burn. Come on, Greg Jr. You're almost there. He's having a good workout. He loves fitness. Boom! That's it. He reached level five of fitness. Greg officially is able to move out of the household. I'm gonna move him out in the next one as we begin to search for our next parent. I think we're gonna go with Spellcaster next, so please leave all your Spellcaster names in the comments below. And until next time, guys, I'll see you on the internet very soon. Bye!